So in this video, I'm going to continue the test review. And the second part, I'm going to spend on these two problems where I do evaluating of expressions. Now, notice that we have an expression with numbers that we can use to plug into them. And the way I like to do these is I start by writing the problem with a parentheses for the places where the letters are in. And so if I do this, then I make sure that I don't make a lot of mistakes. And then I'm going to go ahead and put those numbers inside the parentheses. Now, the first one is negative 2, so I'm going to put the negative 2 in here. And the next one is negative 3, so I'm going to put the negative 3 in here. And then we do one step at a time and copy down the rest. If we do one step at a time, it's less likely that we'll make mistakes. So 4 times negative 2, that is negative 8. And then I'm going to copy down the rest. I'm literally not going to change anything uh, about the rest of this because if I do one step at a time, I am less likely to make mistakes. Okay, so... The next step I'm going to do is still multiplication. By the way, I did multiplication first, right? And I have another multiplication that I need to do over here, which is this 3 times the negative 3. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to copy down the rest. I'm not going to touch the rest. The negative 8 is going to stay there. And the negative sign is going to stay there. But I'm going to do 3 times negative 3, which is negative 9, right? So I have a solution here, negative 9. And then now I'm going to have to do the... Um, Next step, which is uh, subtraction. So I'm going to have to do this subtraction right here, which is um, slash and slash. And so I have negative 8 plus 9, which gives me an answer of 1. So if you go in order, slow, but slowly but surely, you're more likely not to make mistakes. And so this one, one here is a little bit more gnarly, so be advised. So I'm going to copy down the expression, and I'm going to try to put parentheses for where the letters are. So I can, uh, and I like to make bigger parentheses for the parentheses which are on the outside because it helps me not confuse things. And I copy down carefully to make sure I don't forget anything. So that's the A and that's the B. And now I close the big parentheses and then I still have to divide it by two and I still have to multiply it by four. So like I said, pretty gnarly. So I'm going to put the uh, numbers on the inside here. Uh, the first one is C, which is four. So I'm going to put that over here. And then I have the A on the next one, which is negative 2. So I'm going to put that in there. And then B, which is negative 3. Put that in there. And then, as crazy as it sounds, I'm going to do one step at a time to stop making mistakes, mess up from making mistakes. And so the first step I'm going to do is inside the parentheses, it's this multiplication right here. Parentheses comes first, and then within the parentheses, you follow the order. And so I'm going to do the multiplication. And I'm going to copy everything else. Not I'm going to resist the temptation to do anything else. So I did that 3 times 4, which is 12. And I'm going to copy everything else. I, I probably could do more than one step at a time and not make a mistake. But I hate making mistakes. And so I know that if I only do one thing at a time, I'm less likely to make them. All right. So the next thing, I'm going to still inside the parentheses. And I have another multiplication to do right here between this 3 and the negative 2. So I'm going to copy everything else and do only that. So this is what I'm doing right now, 3 times negative 2, which is negative 6. So I do that, and I still have a multiplication left between this negative 6 and a negative 3 inside of parentheses before I can do anything else, copy everything else. So I'm going to do these guys next right here. I'm actually, actually going to, since I'm on the computer with things, I'm going to actually circle with a different color this step that I'm doing so that you can see. And I'm only doing one step at a time because it prevents me from making mistakes. Okay, so then I'm going to do copy everything else. 3 minus 12. Now, the minus is still there. Negative 6 times negative 3. Negative times negative is positive. 6 times 3 is 18. So I do this. And then divided by 2 times 4. I still have a parenthesis to worry about. So the next step that I'm going to do is going to be these guys inside my parentheses. All right. So then I'm going to do copy down everything else. 3 minus 12 minus um, 18 is negative 6. So I'm going to put that in the parentheses in there, and then I do everything else. So now you might be tempted to go from left to right and do 3 minus minus 6, but you have a division here that you have to take care of and a multiplication. And you might be tempted to multiply first, but they're tied, so I have to do the division first. And so I'm going to do the this step next. And negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3, and now I have to do the multiplication next, which is this step. Copy down everything else. 3 minus minus 12 is what you end up with. And then all you have left is the uh, subtraction, which is slash slash. 3 plus 12, 15. And that is how you do multiple steps.